Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bright and I'm a part-time reseller in Poshmark and Mercari. And I'm sorry if you need to hear some congestion in my voice. I am going through a cold right now. Um, just allergies, nothing major, nothing serious, just some allergies. And I was super excited. I just got this thread up five pound box in what, two days ago, yesterday, two days ago. And I haven't opened it yet, and I really wanted to open it with you guys. I just got this one. This is the first one I've been able to get in almost two months. I think I, I think I did order one in March, possibly. Yeah, I think I ordered one in March. Um, so this is the first one and the only one I have gotten in this in the month of April. So, I'm really excited for this. I have not, oh, well, I have not, op yeah, I have not opened one in, whew. no, I didn't, I didn't, I lied, I lied, guys. I opened one back in, um, I opened that bad one from Ohio, or not Ohio, in Ohio, Georgia. Okay, I ordered this on April the 22nd, and I only got one of them, so if there's any singles, I don't have a Another one to open. I don't like... They put... They have new stickers. It's the first thing I, I see is new stickers. I'm gonna throw that on the floor. Okay. And they just threw in like a little bubble mailer. Or not bubble mailer, but a little bubble bag. So that's interesting. Okay. Right off the hand, I see a bunch of paparazzi like i see paparazzi 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 so i'm gonna zoom you guys in um hold on guys i'm gonna zoom you in all right guys so you're zoomed in you can see what i'm doing um, this looks like a bunch of paparazzi jewelry. This looks like a bunch, a bunch of paparazzi jewelry. Um, there's some, like, non-paparazzi down here, but it looks like all of this up here seems to be paparazzi. So, we will have to... I did tape it, which is awesome, which means you know there's no tampering. Like that. Oh, there's another piece. Okay. Alright, guys. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna raise you up some. And I am going to dump everything. Right here. I'm gonna take all of this all paparazzi guys okay so I'm gonna take all the stuff that's loose I'm just gonna dump it in there so sure there's no loosey gooseys there isn't okay okay this is our box see that Let's see it might be my thumbnail <laughs> um see this is kind of cool this tiger's eye turquoise tiger's eye stretch that's really cool looking <clears throat> um i would say it's probably about two inches two and a half inches it's right it's just shy of two inches and the stretch is about, it's about an eight inch. So about eight inch stretch bracelet. It's really cool. I don't know if you'll be able to focus on that or not. There we go. It's really pretty. Um, Let's do... 
That's a lot of tiger's eye and a lot of turquoise. Um, it's not really something I personally keep for myself. So I'll just have a price in the corner if anyone is interested in that. That's cool. I'll sell that for sure. Okay, I'm going to zoom you guys down now a little bit. Now that we're not... Dumping. Okay, so... We have a really cool paparazzi ring. Oh, you know what that is. Okay. There we go. Had to dust you a little bit. So... Paparazzi ring. It's a faux turquoise. It's actually really cute. Um, paparazzi is called the Santa Fe Serenity Blue Ring. And we're just going to do, um, let's do $2 on it. It's pretty. Um, we have this brand new again. This is like almost a faceted. It's like a textured clear. I'm gonna do two dollars on that as well. Hold on, guys. Something just fell. There we go. This is called the Clear Cut Couture Couture um white bracelet. And we're just gonna do two dollars on that. Um, a little baggie. I'm gonna definitely gonna keep these this baggie. And we have three stretch bracelets. Oh, they're all different colors. Okay, so one says love with pink and red acrylic beads. I don't know if you will see that or not. Let me turn this brightness down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so two dollars. We have another one, but this one is says love again, but it's white and red acrylic beads. I don't know if you see that. Red and white. Two dollars. We have another one, but this one's in pink and like a purple. Fuchsia even. Two dollars. We have another little velvety bag. I guess I'm definitely keeping these right there we have two more so we have another one that's pink and red two dollars and then we have another one that's white and pink or no i think this is the first white and pink two dollars so it's a lot of paparazzi okay we have a paparazzi stretch ring it almost looks sterling but of course it's not but um i have a real 925 ring that clarissa over at thriving thrifters gifted me um, and it has like a very similar floral pattern, but it's just like two, I think, or two or three. Um, so yeah, that's actually a really cool stretch. So $2. Okay, we have, we have these acrylic long paparazzi, $2. Put that to the side. 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 Okay. Like this. Because again, new tags. Um, paparazzi. Faux. Um, they might use real highlight. I don't know. But, um, highlight, dyed highlight, long with little chain tassel necklace um, earrings. Do three dollars on this one since it has the earrings and the necklace. Okay, we have a, this one's still sealed. Oh, it's a whole set. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to show this. I am probably going to gift this to somebody. <clears throat> okay. Sorry if you hear rattling. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so there is a couple other paparazzi things, but I'm not going to show them. 
Jessica, so they might use us for something. So these broken pieces. Um, where's my craft bin? Let's throw craft down there. Okay. Oh, this is a belt. <gasps> um, this is definitely a belt. Um, it's white cream, I would say, um, enamel. But this is definitely a belt. And this is heavy, too. Very heavy. Um... That stinks, okay, that's, I, I don't know what to do with that. Um, okay, we have a, silver link necklace, it's very short, it has a lot of scratches on it, so that's probably going to go to craft. Okay, okay this is pretty. This is very pretty. That right there. I can still see. There we go. Okay. So that's very pretty. I like that. Um, it's big, faceted purple acrylic. Yeah, acrylic. Um, and then with a whole bunch of clear rhinestones. On the corners, there is somewhere on the chain, but it's not terrible. And this is a Banana Republic. So, Banana Republic. It's really pretty. It does have somewhere some of the gold tones fading on the chain, but it is not very noticeable. It's not super noticeable. So, we'll do five on it. It's pretty. Five dollars on the Banana Republic. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Is this coral? I don't think it's coral. Some kind of like stone, but not like stone. It's not cold. That's why I think it's coral, but it will stretch bracelet. It is one of them is broken right here. So one of them is. The rest look like they're okay. That's cool. I'll look into that. Okay, this is a big tangle. That's a big tangle. This is another belt. Guys, I have another belt. Guys, okay, we have another belt. <sighs> okay, that's great. We have a watch, um, no name, it's not working, it's not worth it to go and get fixed either, um, so a little no name fast fashion watch. Okay, oh, where's that bro? Okay, this looks like it broke off of here somehow, right there. So that broke off. That would be an easy fix, except for the fact that it's supposed to, it's it's horrible condition, guys. Like horrible. It's a Mart. It is a Mart J Crew, but yeah, it, it's supposed to be silver tone, and it's disgusting. So that's unfortunate. <clears throat> that's gonna go in craft. So that, whatever that is, it's broken. I don't know what do these things get so tangled in these boxes. That's what I want to know. Okay, we have a like a not quite a herringbone. It's almost like a twist, a knot almost. Link it looks like a link. Gold tone. It's probably gold plated or something. Let me check the clasp. It's not marked anything, but it's pretty. And gold chains are coming in, especially for summer. Um, it's long. It's definitely a long one. I would say a good 12 inches wearable at least. Where's my measuring tape? It's 
definitely be 12 inches wearable. It's 14 and a half, which means it's a 29 inch total. So let's do five. Five on that. <clears throat> Again, guys, I'm sorry. I have the congestion. Okay. Tangles are good. Tangles mean there's something good, usually. <laughs> Although my last five pound was not good. If you haven't watched that, go and watch that. And whew. Not good in the least. Oh, I got one thing. One thing I'm excited to list. Um, possibly two. I still have to figure out how to test that bangle bracelet for car um Okay, this is again craft. Look at that chain, it's terrible. Look at the wear on the ribbon. That's craft. Okay, then we have this. This looks like a dyed shell. A dyed, sheet, a dyed seashell. Um, I do not think that is sterling. And I am completely out of 925 acid. I ordered some, but it still hasn't been delivered yet. So this might be silver. This may not be silver. If you're interested, just let me know. It's probably not silver. Where's my magnet? You know what? We'll just do $5 on it. If anyone's interested, five bucks. Untested. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like it is marked. Ooh. This is marked 1937. Okay, I believe that is Madewell. I believe that's Madewell brand. I know 1928 is not the same. So this is worn, but I believe that is it, it's supposed to look worn. Do you see the wear? And a little bit of um it's not verdigree, it's like um what was it called? Like when cop patina? It's got coppery patina on this. So that's actually really cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to look that one up. That might be my first, like, yay piece. That's cool. <clears throat> all right, we have, like, a tree of life, but with, like, all the different gemstones. So that's really pretty and really cool. So we have some... Maybe Jasper, some Clear Quartz, some maybe Jadeite, some Lapis, some Amethyst, and some more Clear Quartz. Or maybe that's supposed to be Rose Quartz. Maybe that's Rose Quartz, I can't tell. But that's pretty. I would do six on this. Six bucks on this. I think that's really pretty. I like that. Okay, we have a... Come on. These links do not want to cooperate. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. All right. This is very lightly. It does not feel quality at all. It's probably like a Forever 21 or something like that. Um, but it has scratches on it. So it's probably going to go to craft. Um, if anything, I will. I could definitely use these... Um, those stations to craft with. So that'd be a cool crafting piece. But, um, whew, guys, my, um, whew, the congestion is hitting me hard. Um, this feels like a Banana Republic or something. Let me do a quick spin around. Okay, I do not see any marks, but this feels like a Banana Republic like it, or an Ann Taylor or something. It has a nice weight to it. Um, and from what I can tell, there's just a little bit of wear. It's not terrible. So, if anyone's interested in that, I'll do five. Or I'll do four. I'll do four on it. That's pretty. Look at the facets. I'll do four bucks on that. That's really pretty. It's pretty. Okay. We have a little bib necklace, maybe. Um, it doesn't, it is, it has weight to it, but it just doesn't look like it's in the best condition. It doesn't look like it's in the best condition. It's kind of looking, looks a little dingy on it. So that's going to go to craft. Um, tangly mess. Okay. Well, this is branded. This is branded. 
a little a little bit fancy a l i l bit b i t fancy a little bit fancy that's cool looks like all the rhinestones are there again it, it's, it's a little dingy like it's the suede i'm sure you can clean the suede and that's no problem but just know this the suede needs to be cleaned so we have that. I'll look that up. We have this bracelet. Has quite a bit of wear, so I'm not even going to give you a price on that. That's craft. We have this bracelet. Um, this one looks like it's in okay condition. Yeah. So like leaves or branches even, like olive leaves or something. I don't see any wear on it. So this is about... A two and a half inch opening. So we'll just do three dollars on that. We have this one. This is a vintage, like a loose sight in brass. It doesn't look doesn't look straight. It looks like it's like curved a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this may end up in craft as well. Um it's not broken or anything. It's just like curved a little bit. Oh, I think it's supposed to be. Okay, do you see that? It's like almost made to look wavy. We'll just do two dollars on it if he wants it. It does look like it's supposed to be like that. Ooh, we have a coach. Um, unfortunately, it's in terrible condition. Like terrible. Um, all the hearts. The gold tone is just worn right off of it. And yeah, that's a, that's that's a shame because that would have been a cool bracelet. So note that. Darn it, guys, this this box has not been the greatest. Here we have some loose beads. That's all it looks like, all the loose beads. Let's do this. Um, Belova. Belova. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this goes on here either. Alright, well, it looks like it's new with tags. Um, unfortunately, it's just, it does not look like it's very good quality. I'll look it up, but... Hold on, guys. Guys, I am back. I had to blow my nose. It was killing me. I was trying to wait, but... So we have this. Um, it, it has a little bit of weight to it. Like, these are glass pearls and not plastic pearls, but still, I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that. If anyone knows that brand. <clears throat> I was going to wait to film this until I felt better, but... This is a Zad. Zad is a company that is sold on Amazon, Shopify. Um, what's that other one that you buy off of? Um, there's another comp like another company. I have some of their stuff that I bought in bulk. Um, was not my best buy, but I should at least make my money back. Hopefully, I haven't so far, but we'll see. Um, that's really pretty. We'll just do five dollars on it. It's a really pretty piece. Um, we have this bracelet. This is heavy. Unfortunately, it's in really rough shape. Again, like everything else. <laughs> um, we can be able to see if they're not. But that's craft. Um, we have an earring. Looks like. Like oh, a match. We have a match, but it's missing the rhinestone at the top. So craft. It's it's coming to. It's like it's becoming a good little blue box. It's all junk. Okay, we have an all acrylic necklace. Craft one dollar. Um tangles. Is this silver? Ooh, 
Ooh. Ooh. Might have silver. If it's real. My last blue box had a couple, um, had a couple necklaces, um, in it. It was, oh yeah, it was from Thread Up, yeah. And they were all fake. Every single one of them was fake. Okay, this is very tangled in here. And I can't even untangle this because this is a top. Oh, this is this is made well. So a little M. That's made well. And this is a gold tone um, adjustable length necklace with this like, gold circle. That's a sellable piece. I can't get my you know my fifty two dollars back off of it, but it's a nice piece. Okay, guys, I cannot get this 925 thing untangled, but where's the magnet? We'll just give it a little test to see if it's real. It is not magnetic, so we have that going for it. So a possibly real 925 necklace and a Madewell necklace, so that's good. That is good. This is a no-name fast fashion little necklace. It's actually really pretty. It gives me Kate Spade vibes. It really does. Like, this is something Kate Spade would definitely sell. Um, it's a little short, collar length. We'll just do $3 on it. It's pretty. Okay, we have another necklace. This is... Holly... Holly... Oh, Lord, let me see what that says. I can barely read it. Might be a sterling tag because it's very tarnished. Holly... Yashi, H-O-L-L-Y-Y-A-S-H-I, Holly Washi, is on a shepherd's hook clasp, hmm, is a two strand, they're not real pearls, but it is probably glass pearls, it's very pretty, and this is the maker's mark, this is the clasp, I don't know why my focus isn't working. It's the clasp, and then this was the maker's mark. Holly, Yo Holly Yoshi, Yoshi, Holly Yoshi. No other marks. That's it. So that's pretty. That that might be something possibly. I'm getting, glad we're getting something because, like I said, this box so far is just some paparazzi and broken. Okay, we have a long CB necklace, very long, um, stripes, it's a lot of seed beads for people who, um, make CB jewelry, this is, seed beads aren't cheap anymore, like everything else, um, this is about a 13 and a half, I would say, wearable, 14, it's a 14 wearable on the extender, now the clasp, the chain does have some wear, there is some wear, but it's very short, so it's not a lot of wear. But um, we'll just do five, because that's a lot of sea beads. We have a very, very cheap stretch bracelet, a dollar for craft. Craft. Oh. Okay. oh my gosh, guys, we have another belt. Guys, how... That, we've had three belts in the slot. Like, one, okay. Two, I'm getting a little mad. Three, though? I'm untangling it. We got three belts. I wonder if it's even worth contacting ThreadUp. They, <laughs> I contacted them about that horrible 15-piece box that I opened, like, two months ago, three months ago. And they're like, oh... There's nothing we can do. That's to be expected. I'm like, for a 15-piece box for $56, you're telling me I'm supposed to get all worn out? Everything was worn. Everything had wear. I couldn't sell half the box, and they wouldn't do anything for me. So, thank you, Thread Up. But it's a Calvin Klein belt. Um, but I'm going to contact them. That's, un that's just ridiculous. I got one... 
two, three belts. I got three belts. This is probably at least a pound of jewelry I did not get because of the belts. I'm definitely contacting them about that. This is completely unprofessional. It's not right. What is this? This is Chico's, but it's broken. I don't know what was on it. Oh, I know what was on it. These. I've seen this necklace before. That's what broke. That's where all these beads came from. Womp womp. Okay, ooh, okay, we have some of the natural stone. Let me check the clasp. I don't see a mark. So it might be that same Yoshi lady. Um, but this is awesome. This is a purple natural stone. I do not think it's amethyst. It's almost like a purple quartz, maybe jasper. I, I don't know. It has a lot of spots in it. That's really cool. It's a really cool one. So that might go in my own personal collection. The clasp is not marked, by the way. It is not marked. It's not magnetic, but I, I, I don't know if it is silver or not. Okay, ooh, this is gorgeous. This is heavy, too. Not heavy. I shouldn't say heavy. This has a nice weight to it. So has a nice weight to it. Let me check for marks. It's not marked. I'm surprised. This is nice. This is really pretty. Look at the fire those rhinestones have. Like, look at that. Stunning. 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 And we are going to get a measurement on that. That is a 7 at the shortest. It can go up to an 8. So, seven to eight. Actually, probably go eight, about eight and a half. But it's a seven to eight and a half inch bracelet. Stunning. This has a nice weight to it. We're going to do four on this. We're going to do four on that. That's pretty. That I will list if it doesn't sell. Okay, we have a little bracelet with a little eyeball charm on there. A long oh is this marked today's mark <gasps> guys okay we have <laughs> we have our winter piece this is this I literally thought this was nothing I literally thought this was nothing I thought this was garbage um but guys this is Chan Lu this is Chan Lu guys are you kidding me? It's a it's a cord. It's like a thread tassel with some chain tassel with like two coins. Looks like it's a little turquoise and little red charms. And it is marked on a tiny little itty bitty tag. Chan Lu. Now it doesn't say Chan Lu 925. So I'm going to have to make sure this is real. But that says Chan Lu. So... Wow. Okay, so this this might bring me back up, maybe. Maybe everything can... I don't think I'm going to make money on this lot. Let's just be real. I do not. However, I might break even. <laughs> um, oh, I have a whole bunch of hoop earrings. And they all look like they're new on the card. They were $7. Um, I do have an earring subscription service, um, box. It's, and it, you don't have to have it a subscription if you just want to do a one-time box. That is A-OK. -okay. Um, had a couple people sign up, so thank you, thank you. Um, but it is five pairs of earrings for $15 shipped to your door. So that includes shipping, guys. So, um, these are pretty. These will probably go into my subscription box. They're nice. They're glass. Um, we have these little earrings. These ones are probably not going to go in my subscription box. So I'll just do, um, I mean, they're cute. They're cute. I might, I might put those in my box. We'll see. Cause they're pretty. So I have to, um, shape it back up. We have a little bobby pen in it. Is that marked? Is that marked 925? No, 
It's marked Cara, C-A-R-A, Cara, right there, and it is a hair bobby pin. That's pretty. Oh, it's not focused. That's pretty. That's stunning, even. Wow. Okay. I'll look that right up. Okay, we have a little nylon cord that looks like silver. It is marked 925, and it's marked something else. RJ? No. I cannot tell what that says, but this is what it looks like. Just like a nylon cord with two little charms on it. And it's marked O-N-A-R. N-O-A-R. And it's marked 925, so... It's a tiny little piece of silver, so I don't really think it's going to do much, but we'll see. Um, this looks interesting. These look maybe real stones. Oh, it's marked something on the clasp. Okay, this is 925. Okay, we have a little 925 charm bracelet. Um, Opalite, pink quartz, maybe amethyst, not sure, with little charms. One has a cross, a little song emblem, music note. Horseshoe, another cross, and this is marked 925, so let's see. It's not magnetic, so this may be real. It's on the big side. Um, There might be an inklet. Let's see. Yeah, that's almost a four inch. It's like three, three, three and three quarts, three fourths. Um, that's pretty. I would test it, but I don't have any testing acid. Okay. Oh, we have another bobby pen. Look. Oh, is that one missing? Nope. We have two of those bobby pins. Or hair clips, whatever whatever they're called. Claw, hair claws. We have another pair of hoops. These ones are not in the greatest of condition, so those are going to go in craft. Um, okay, we have an earring. Okay. We have this earring. Oh, wait a minute. We had that. I think I threw it in craft. What do I do with that? Hmm. Okay, so this just needs a new ear hook if I can find if I can find it again. I think I threw that in craft. It did not have an ear hook on it. Um we have a choker necklace, stretchy. Craft, probably. Okay, these look like made well. Um, they're not marked, but Madewell has a very similar pair to these, so I might have to look those up for Madewell. Madewell does not mark their earrings, so watch out for Madewell earrings. Okay, we have a stack of three of these little, these little rings, but they're in really bad shape, so they're going to go in craft, probably. This looks like, oh, we do, oh, we have the match to these. Okay, this is marked. Geneva, Oniva, something N E V A. It looks like. I can't tell. Um, but I'm I'm assuming nine two five, and that is a moonstone. So that's nice little nine two five moonstone earrings, if they're real. Not marked. That might be silver as well. So that's awesome. Okay, we have these earrings. Um. Not marked anywhere. Let's see. They're not silver. They are magnetic. But they're very cute little earrings. Those are cute. Okay, we have no match to this. We have no match to that. Um, no match to that. No match to that. No match to that. Um, we have a little ring. It's a little glass ring wire wrap. I'm going to give that to one of my friends. She likes those kind of rings. Um, and then we have like shoe clips or something. So, and that's it. And then we have like these little faux pearl studs. Yeah. thought maybe silver, but I don't think so. Don't think so. 
So that's it, guys. Um, single, single, match, match, single, match, match, match. Okay, um, this box wasn't terrible. Um, we got the Chan Lu, which was the winner by far. This is definitely the winner in the box. Um, this has to probably be second place, this natural stone. Um, I really liked this tiger's eye and turquoise bracelet. I thought that was really pretty. Um, oh, the 925 charm bracelet. That was kind of cool. So we got a couple decent pieces. Just, again, oh, this was actually marked. This was marked RLL, which is Lauren Roth Lauren. Unfortunately, we did not get the match. But, oh, this looks like be silver. Yeah, this was silver as well, but unfortunately this is... This is missing its match. So that's it, guys. That is everything in my box. Um, what would you guys do? Would you guys contact them about getting three belts in your box? Like, I mean, you're paying $52, $53 for this box, and you're getting three belts that take up quite a bit of the box. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Would you contact them? Do you think I should contact them? Um, and again, thank you for bearing with me while I go through my allergies. Um, but that's it from this box. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in signing up for my earring subscription box, you can do so by sending me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. And I can... Yeah, yahoo.com. Um, and I can send you little things saying like what your favorite colors, what are your least favorite colors, what are your favorite style of earrings... What do you usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis? Whatever. Um, and I will curate five pairs of earrings for you based off your preferences. And I will send them out to you the, um, the first of every month. The first week or the second week of every month. So that's it, guys. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, guys.